the Book of Mormon. It is palpable evidence of Joseph Smith's prophetic calling and convincing evidence of the divinity and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Its exposition of our Heavenly Father's plan of redemption is unequaled. When you share the Book of Mormon, you share the restoration. When Jason Olson was a teenager, he was warned repeatedly by family members and others against becoming a Christian. He had two good friends, however, who were members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and they often discussed religion. His friends Shay and Dave respectfully countered arguments that others had given Jason against faith in Jesus Christ. Finally, they gave him a copy of the Book of Mormon, saying, This book will answer your questions. Please read it. He reluctantly accepted the book and put it in his backpack, where it stayed for several months. He didn't want to leave it at home where his family might see it, and he didn't want to disappoint Shay and Dave by returning it. Finally, he settled on the solution of burning the book. One night, with a lighter in one hand and the Book of Mormon in the other, he was about to set fire to the book when he heard a voice in his mind that said, Do not burn my book. Startled, he paused, then, thinking he had imagined the voice, he attempted again to ignite the lighter. Again, the voice came to his mind, Go to your room and read my book. Jason put the lighter away, walked back to his bedroom, opened the Book of Mormon, and began to read. He continued day after day, often into the early hours of the morning. As Jason came to the end and prayed, he recorded, I was filled from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet with the Spirit. I felt full of light. It was the most joyous experience I had ever had in my life. He sought baptism and later became a missionary himself.